Hi, I'm Lindsay Bullen, Manager of Strategic Recruitment and Enrollment with the Faculty of Engineering. Thanks for joining me today as we explore more about the Bachelor of Engineering program. We'll be joined by engineering faculty and students throughout the presentation to allow you to hear firsthand about life in engineering at McMaster. First off, welcome to McMaster University, located in the West End of Hamilton, Ontario, Canada's ninth largest metropolis. McMaster is a mid-sized university with a total population of around 27,000 students. About 6,000 of those are in the Faculty of Engineering. The main campus is located on 300 acres of land that abuts Coots Par Paradise, a nature reserve. But it's not just about being at a picturesque campus. At McMaster, you're at a top-rated, top-ranked, world-renowned university. We're ranked number five in Canada by McLean's, number three in engineering in Ontario, and top 75 in the world by Times Higher Education. Students come to McMaster to become leaders in their field. So if you're looking to make a change, you've come to the right place. We put students at the center of their education. Whatever you want to do in today's changing, dynamic world, the experiences you gain at McMaster will take you where you want to go. Our students get more than a degree. They get the experience they need by working in teams, on academic projects, in clubs, outside of the classroom, on co-ops, during exchanges, maybe even on varsity or recreational sports teams. Everything they do during their time at McMaster contributes to who they are as a person and where their career will ultimately take them. Here are just a few examples of Mackin students who are getting a degree plus an unparalleled experience. They really are living their best Mackin life. Shriaz is a co-founder of a student club. He's an entrepreneur. He's actually commercialized a competition started by that club and is involved in sports. Lacey is the co-captain of the Baja racing team. She's a researcher and she's a ballerina. She's also this year's valedictorian. Arisha has completed some truly impressive co-ops. She's gone on exchange in the UK and she's an artist. Monov completed co-op at Microsoft. He's a Decky U exec and he's passionate about UX UI design. So I'm gonna turn it over now to our three panelists to share more about the McMaster engineering experience. Hi, my name is Aditya. Uh, I'm in level one engineering right now and I am from Doha. Though I've lived in a couple of countries, including UAE, Bahrain, India, and yeah, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much that. Hi, my name is Marina. I'm in my fourth year at Chemical and Bioengineering. I'm from Scarborough, but I was actually born in Germany, and I am passionate about engineering and sustainability and healthcare. Hi, my name is Steve Franilovic. I'm the Associate Dean Academic. Uh, I'm also uh, a professor in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. I've been at Mac for about 16 years, and I've, I've really had the privilege of, of working with wonderful students and wonderful fa faculty members the whole time. Why is there so much emphasis on experiential learning and learning outside of the classroom at McMaster? Yeah, that's, that's a good question. So what is engineering? Engineering is all about taking principles of engineering or of taking science and mathematics principles and, and using them to solve big problems. And you can't learn how to solve big problems or how to do engineering just by reading about math and science or learning about how others have done it. You actually need to experience it. You need to do it. Like riding a bicycle. You can't learn to ride a bicycle by reading about it in a book. You have to do it. And that's what is the ethos of, of McMaster Engineering. You have to get out there and do engineering with your hands. Program those robots. Write the code. Develop chemical processes develop structures, develop mechanical systems to, to, to solve the large problems of the world. So this is why there's an emphasis on experiential learning. More than that, our employers, people that are engaged with our co-op programs have told us that this is the most valuable feature that they're looking for in graduates. They're looking for graduates that not only know the technical concepts, in fact, given that we're an accredited engineering program, they take those for granted. They say, oh yeah, you must have all the technical competencies. But what they're interested in really is, can you do engineering? Have you had an experience where you've applied that knowledge and done something? All right, Steve, what is the one thing that you think everyone should know about McMaster uh, Engineering? Well, that's a tough one because there's so many things I'd like to tell you about McMaster Engineering. Um, I think you can distill it down to, to our hashtag. It's, it's hashtag fireball family. That's what we are. We really are a fireball family. So fireball for those, for those new to, to McMaster Engineering is the symbol of McMaster Engineering. It has been since, since the inception of our engineering program over 50 years ago. 
And Firebell family means that, that we, we aren't just a collection of students and faculty members and staff that are not interacting. We actually work together. We actually form a cohesive whole. If you want to know one thing is that we're all invested in, in each of our success. We want to make sure all of our students are successful. We truly are a fireball. So at McMaster, it's about more than being brilliant. McMaster engineers are empowered to be difference makers. We'll teach you to be the engineer that sees only solutions, not problems. With a focus on experiential, collaborative, and project-based learning, students take on real problems in society and learn technical and teamwork skills to start them. It starts right from day one. In fall 2020, we're introducing a full year project-based learning experience where students are exposed to a series of design projects that will develop both technical and professional skills. This course, the Integrated Cornerstone Design, design Projects, otherwise known as 1P13, uh, works in three ways. So students will be introduced to concepts in one hour classes, they'll develop skills in labs, and then they'll apply those in real life by working in teams in design studios. Let's turn it over to our panelists to discuss why the major change in curriculum and how that's really gonna benefit our students. How unique is the 1P13 course and where did this idea come from? Yeah, thank you for the, I mean, 1P13 is, is, is brand new. It's brand new in the world. No one has tried this before. This is uh, the right way to teach engineering. What is it? Well, in, in our previous engineering iterations, you learned material in separate courses. You learned about engineering professionalism. You learned about 3D modeling and representations. You learned about material science. And you learned about programming or coding. And you learned about them separately. And you did have big projects in each of them. And you, and you got deep knowledge in each of those individual areas. But as engineers, right, people in practice for some time, if you go and practice engineering, you don't do engineering in that way. Engineering is practiced by solving problems. You're given a problem and it's not one that can be solved using an equation you learned in material science or using a coding construct you learned in, in your programming course. It's all by putting together, synthesizing those ideas together. 1P13 is unique in that our engineering content is still being taught. You'll, teach, you'll learn all of the key concepts in engineering. However, you'll learn them in the context of a true engineering context, one in which you're solving problems. Uh, Steve, so why will this course make Mackin students better engineers? Right. So what it does is it, it in previous cases, you learned each of the co concepts in separate courses. And those connections that you had to make were made organically. You made them on your own. You made them as you were studying with friends in, in, yeah. in the lecture hall. Or you made them through the course of labs that you would do. Now, we're building in this, this, this cohesion, this, this discussion early on in the process. You're going to have this connection between concepts. As you learn new concepts, you're going to integrate them with previous concepts. Moving on to talk a bit about what happens after first year. And to be clear, the vast majority of our students make it beyond first year. We have an impressive 96.5% student success rate in first year, the highest in Canada. While in first year, you'll gain a broad exposure to engineering before choosing a specialization for second year and beyond. There are 10 specializations to choose from, including chemical engineering and bioengineering, which is a five-year program option. The remaining nine specializations um, can include an and society or and management option, which would then extend it to be a five-year program. To help you to make an informed decision, the different engineering departments will be hosting information sessions in the winter term where you'll have the opportunity to meet faculty and upper year students in that program, as well as learn about courses you would take and potential career opportunities. Typically, students are selected for upper year disciplines based on their year one GPA. However, students with a minimum admission average of a mid-90s at the time of admission may qualify for guaranteed choice of discipline in second year and beyond, dependent on successful completion of first year engineering. Throughout their degree, students will develop competencies beyond the theoretical and the technical. They'll learn to be creative and to use that creativity to innovate. They will learn to work in teams, to collaborate, and to lead. They will learn to innovate for business, to understand business models that are necessary for the implementation of engineering solutions. They'll learn to have the opportunity to have a global impact through either a co-curricular activity like Global Grand Challenges or maybe an international student exchange. And lastly, they'll develop a social consciousness and a motivation to address societal problems that are right at their doorstep. Some of this is accomplished through high impact practice courses, like the one we just talked about, 1P13, which are integrated throughout their degree. Uh, so Steve, can you tell me more about what a uh, high impact practice course is? 
Yeah, so, so we've talked a bit about one of them, about 1P13. So as you come into your studies, you'll, you'll be uh, exposed to, a, to an integrated learning approach in first year. But our goal is to continue this thought for this thread of education throughout your term at, at McMaster. So you know that after first year, after our common first year, students are streamed into a number of different programs. And in each of the programs, there are these, these high impact practice courses. And in these courses, we call them integrated learning courses or project-based courses. You will have the opportunity to take concepts which you've learned from first year and as you continue through, and in, and in a multidisciplinary context, to learn about how to solve real world problems. So the, the underlying ideas and the underlying approaches that you've taken in first year will generalize and follow through in your subsequent years in, in education year as well. Are you preparing students to become innovators and entrepreneurs? I mean, yeah, that's the essence of engineering, isn't it? An innovator is, is, is someone that takes knowledge and takes what's known and builds something new. That's exactly what an engineer is. But more concretely, to your point is, indeed we are. We're looking at, we, we develop students in our mode of education, we give them the concepts and the tools in order to be, in order to take the raw material, the raw knowledge that they get and solve large problems. We've seen this in many of our programs, in many other cases where students have sprung from innovations, particularly in capstone projects or in, or in other open-ended capstone courses in the past, in which they've taken knowledge and used it to spearhead new innovations in the entrepreneurial direction. We've also partnered with the Degroot School of Business and created an innovation minor, which formalizes this in curriculum. So certainly it's open to any students across the university to look at a formal innovation knowledge or formal innovation credential. However, apart from that, our students, our mode of education gives you the knowledge and more than that, the confidence to innovate and to look at possible entrepreneurial directions. Okay, time to talk co-op. At McMaster, every student has access to the co-op program. The best part is you decide when you would like to complete co-op and we'll help you to get there. Throughout the year, a team of 15 staff from the Engineering Co-op and Career Services Office will connect with more than 1,000 employers, bringing them directly to you in over 200 workshops and events annually. We'll also work with you to navigate the career exploration, job search, application interview, and even offer process. Beginning as early as the summer after your first year, you can begin completing four month co-op positions. After your third year, you'll have the option to complete longer, more immersive eight, 12 or 16 month positions. 12 months of co-op is needed to graduate with the designation on your degree, but you can gain up to 28 months of work experience before graduating. There's more than one way to complete co-op. You can opt to do summer stints sandwiched between academic years, you can mix and match with maybe a shorter four month position mixed with an eight, 12 or 16 month position. You can choose a longer internship, usually 12 or 16 months, or you can do the works. Again, up to 28 months of co-op can be completed before you graduate. These are just some of the employers that hire McMaster engineering students. McMaster ranks in the global top 100, number five in Canada for global employability. We've had 10,000 co-op students who have worked in 30 countries around the world. Let's turn back to our panelists to hear more about the co-op experience. Marina, I know you've had some interesting co-ops in the past. Can you give us some highlights and share some of your experiences on your co-ops? Yeah, for sure. So for the past two summers, I was given the opportunity to do my co-op position as a clinical engineering assistant at SickKids, which is a pediatric hospital based in Toronto. Um, and I was able to observe surgeries and develop systems to optimize the peripheral regeneration, neuro regeneration process. And my tasks were to develop, build, and characterize the devices, as well as test these devices in vitro and in vivo with the end goal of the system being clinically available to use by surgeons during microsurgeries. And sort of that prepared me for my bioengineering aspect of my degree. Um, and then next month, I'll be starting my co-op at Ontario Power Generation, which will prepare me more for my chemical engineering side of my degree. Wow, that sounds really impressive. How did you feel going in? Were you well prepared to do your co-op terms? I feel like a lot of people aren't prepared they're kind of walking in blind to the co-ops that they're given, but it's all about learning and communicating and really building your network and learning how to ask for help. Um, and no matter where you go or what sort of co-op experiences you have, you gain a lot of skills in, throughout that process. There are four direct from high school programs within the Faculty of Engineering and together they make up the Fireball family. At MacEng, you're always amongst friends, more than 6,000 of them. 
Our Fireball family is a supportive community where students build each other up in a spirit of collaboration, not competition. If you take a stroll through the Gerald Hatch Center for Engineering Experiential Learning, known just as Hatch to our students, it's hard not to feel the energy. This is the home base for the Master Engineering Society and affiliated clubs and teams. Mac and students brainstorm ideas and bring them to life in 28,000 square feet of collaborative rooms, lounges, garage space, all devoted to undergraduate student life. From the McMaster Engineering Musical to the Mac Eng Eco Car Challenge, students actively participate in a variety of clubs, teams, and associations. And these activities don't take away from the student's ability to learn subject matter. If anything, it enhances it. We believe in it so much that we've started offering course credit for participation in extracurriculars. The McMaster Engineering Society is there to support students through it all, from organizing conferences to social events and acting as the voice of students in decision making at the faculty level. They are an important and very visible presence to our engineering undergrads. So what's this experience really like? Let's ask our student panelists. Aditya, how would you describe your experience in, McMa in MacEng so far? Well, uh, one word, amazing. But uh, to like elaborate more, I genuinely have, the, this eight months have been like one of the best. Um, this is basically McMaster in general has given me the opportunity to like explore things about me, which I would never have if I was not in McMaster, to be honest. So like, in, like I, what I would like to continue is that it allows me to, uh, Engineering has kind of allowed me to do a couple of things which I didn't realize I had, like cooking. Like this is a really funny thing over here because I never expected myself to cook. Like whenever my mom used to like ask me to go come and help her out, I used to get scared. But now I'm cooking. Why? Because I'm in, I'm over here. I'm all alone right now. And this has given me the opportunity to do that. Also, given the uh, status that I'm an international student, it has allowed me to like explore new cultures, look into other people's lives. Uh, and I also have a job at uh, the engineering outreach office. So that has allowed me to connect with future students. So think, uh, talking to them about their lives, talking to, listening to different stories like this. I don't think I would ever get this opportunity anywhere else in the world. But honestly, it's amazing. And that's all I have to say. Marina, how has getting involved outside of the classroom helped you academically and in your career progression? Getting involved, I think, definitely helped me gain soft skills such as learning how to work with a team and balancing my time, which is extremely helpful in an academic or a career setting. Also, by getting involved, it was a way for me to navigate my mental health through making friends, as well as this was an opportunity to explore my interests inside and outside of engineering that I wouldn't be able to fully explore within the classroom. Um, also, many of my experiences also helped me gain co-op positions because not only did it help me build my network, it gave me experiences that set me apart from the rest. To recap, your degree starts with a first year design project course. It continues with department-specific design and high-impact practice courses that could cut across engineering disciplines. There's an opportunity to get course credit for involvement in clubs and teams, and it's all capped off by a capstone project in your final year. This is your degree, but as I mentioned, you'll also gain invaluable experience that adds to this package. Maybe you'll work as a research assistant conducting research alongside a professor. Again, maybe you'll be involved or even have a leadership role within a club's and club or team. You could have social impact through our Global Grand Challenges or Mac Changers program. You could live in, live in or help lead one of our living learning communities, for instance, the Innovation Society or Women in Leadership Learning Community within residence. You can go on an international exchange. You can innovate in one of our maker spaces on campus or through the Forge, our on-campus incubator. You can complete co-op again up to 28 months. And that's all. Lastly, I invite you to follow us on Instagram. If you're wondering what the Mac End student experience is really like, this is your chance. We let our students take do Instagram takeovers all the time to really showcase their day-to-day -day experience. So again, follow us on Instagram at McMasterEng. And lastly, if you have any questions, feel free to email us at thinkeng at mcmaster.ca. This is our general inbox. It's monitored very closely and we're happy to answer any questions that you have. For now, we'll sign off and say goodbye. We hope to hear from you soon. Fantastic. Enjoy your day. Hope to see you guys soon. Thanks for taking your time to, to listen to us today and to hear a little bit more about McMaster Engineering. Look forward to meeting you all in September. Bye.
Bye. Bye. Hello. <laughs>